A fight in the sky for survival. The federal government now stepping in, proposing a plan to protect a California native owl species from becoming extinct. The problem? The federal plan calls for the killing of another species of owl. This is an interesting one. CBS 13's Brady Hop Live explains some animal advocates are pushing back and calling for a new strategy. Danielle Hanish is the executive director for LEAP, standing for Leaders for Ethics, Animals, and the Planet. It's a nonprofit organization with more than 20 animal sanctuaries across the country. <laughs> Animals at this sanctuary were rescued from slaughter and or inhumane living conditions. Hanish and a team of volunteers are their sole providers. You realize that they are just as sentient and feeling and worthy of kindness and affection as our dogs and cats. A part of the LEAP program is educating the youth about animal welfare and human rights. So when Hanish heard about this new federal proposal to allow hunters to kill thousands of invasive owls to save the species of another kind of owl, it didn't sit well. And it is very important to save endangered species. I just think as humans, especially, you know, with, with our level of intelligence and our technology, we have other ways to solve the problem. The proposal aims to address the decline of the native spotted owl, which are listed as an endangered species. The non-native barred owl, which migrated from the East Coast, is similar to the spotted owl, only it's much bigger and more aggressive, taking over the habitat and increasing competition for food. And the spotted owl is having a hard time keeping up. And the problem is they aren't cohabitating well. One of the solutions is to kill off a portion of the barred owl population to give the spotted owl a fighting chance to bounce back. Michelle Dodge, a wildlife rescue volunteer and photographer, notes this kind of strategy has shown to be successful in the past on a much smaller scale, but she's still conflicted. I'm not going to say yes or no to this program. I'm going to say it sickens me to think of killing owls. In the 200 plus page proposal drawn up by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, it does mention the possibility of no action being taken. Still, the possibility has several animal rights groups pushing back, calling the plan reckless and impractical, a sentiment shared by Hanish. And personally, I don't believe that killing them is the answer. So if a strategy is finalized, barred owls hunting will only be conducted by trained professionals. The strategy, it does not call for a public hunting season. It also does not, it does not include hunting permits.